Go ahead. Well, that's right, Orna. We have Sajad Lone. It has been a massive victory for him. Almost 500, uh, 5,000 is the margin. Uh, Sajad Lone, your first thoughts. Do you remember your father? He has, his bastion was Hanwara in Kupwara. What are your first thoughts here? Well, uh, first of all, uh, thanks to the people of Hanbara. Uh, the last time we fought ele uh, assembly elections was in 1987. And uh, to be very honest, they've waited for this long, for People's Conference to come and fight again. And uh, one thing that hurt me, my father is not alive. And my rival would always say I have defeated his father. I want to make it clear he never defeated him. Those were the era of rigged elections. This is a proper election. And in a proper election, which were free and fair, the people of Hanwara have showed him his place, have showed National Conference their place, who used to rig elections. And I became very emotional. You know, the first thing was that tears rolled down my tears, uh, down my cheeks, that uh, I remembered the helplessness of PC workers and my late father in 1987 and in 1983. Sajar, talking about National Conference, I want to uh, tell you that Omar Abdullah has lost by a massive margin in Sonwari. In the Birwa constituency also, at the moment, we are getting breaking news that he is trailing by 466 votes. What, is, what are your thoughts on the outgoing Chief Minister Omar Abdullah? Well, I can't I mean, say it's for him to introspect. Um, I, I would have thought that, uh, you know, uh, he had a great chance and I think he blew it up. Uh, but at the same time, you know, um, on a reflection, uh, I, I would say the media, the bureaucracy here. My first thing is to the bureaucracy, especially the police. If they want to join politics, let them resign and join politics. Sitting in their plum seats and then uh, creating a perception, I think is wrong. Uh, you know, we have had rigged elections, overtly rigged elections, in 87, in 83, and that has left behind a trail of blood, trail of bloodshed. I don't think the bureaucracy out here has still learned its lesson. They might not do it overtly, but in terms of creating perceptions, in terms of creating a wave, in terms of uh, influencing opinion, influencing voter behavior, they are up to their old jobs. And I promise you that, inshallah, I will be a tireless campaigner. The first and the biggest enemies are those people who sit in their bureaucratic um, chairs and then do politics. They are the real enemies of Kashmir and but, we need to weed them well, out. Well, your thoughts are almost clear, but I should uh, uh, tell you at this moment that it's almost imminent now that the PDP and the Bharatiya Janta Party would be forming the government in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, PDP is inching, inching closer to 30 and uh, uh, BJP is closer to 25. It will be a massive uh, number closer to 60, uh, one of the highest uh, that has had uh, in the JNK Assembly. I asked you this morning your thoughts on supporting such an alliance. You said that you will be open to uh, sitting in the opposition as well. Have you changed your thoughts? You have won this seat. What, is, what will be your verdict or do you think the, there is more negotiation to do? I think we're doing very well in Kupara also. Hopefully we might get that seat also. So, two big bari padenge inshallah. You know, there will be two of us, you know, inshallah. Um, we will do good opposition work. And um, best of luck to people who make the new government. And for the people to understand that those who criticize me for meeting Mr. Modi have to eat the humble pie, not me. So, one, you know, one question. Uh, it's, it's one question for one question for him with the level from my side that I have today. Right. Yeah, I, I should be sitting right. in the opposition. No, right. one question. Sajad, Arnav Goswami has a last question one, for you. One yes, Arnav. Uh, one question for him. First question. Uh, two questions. One is, does his faith in Indian democracy go up after this? Does his faith in Indian democracy go up after this today? Right. The first question Arnav wants to ask you, does your faith in the Indian democracy really rise now that you have won these elections and s s seen this democratic process uh, uh, up front, in front of your eyes? Tell Arnav that democracy is democracy. It doesn't have any nationality. And I would still want true democracy. What I talked about bureaucracy are the impediments in democracy. And there is nothing Indian about it. But there is certainly something Kashmiri about it. Okay, and I would question. certainly want that to change. No, 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 no. Watch, 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 watch. One, this one morning, more question. This, this order, morning yes. he said to you, in any way in which I can, if I do two or three, in any way I can be part of any government, he actually said he was open to it. Why would he not want to join a PDP, BJP government? I mean, we are third party. With, with the, he's worked with Mr. Modi. I mean, not he's met Mr. Modi. Why would he also not want to be part of a ruling coalition or a combination to bring more diversity to the government in Srinagar and Jammu? 
right order wants to ask you that this morning you told me that you'd be open to any kind of an alliance you'll keep yourself open but then why why are you inching uh, out from such an alliance perhaps bjp and pdp will come together why not join you'll have at least two seats in the assembly why not join such an alliance i am not ruling out anything but uh, as i told you in the morning i would love to be in the opposition because we we, we shouldn't have a very weak opposition either but as far as joining the power equation is concerned you know we have to look at dignity we have to look whether whether you are needed in the first place or not so that's the most important thing and uh, whether it's going to go into any direction or not if it's a direct directionless uh, motive purely uh, motivated by a desire to be in power i say because this is my first innings and i don't have any uh, past you know i don't have any past i don't have any corruption cases i don't have any uh, other you know gory details in my past i have a very clean past when it comes to because i've never been in power so um, you know i'm idealist and i have the patience to wait but at the same time if an opportunity comes wherein uh, i feel that i would be wanted i don't want to be there just because you know somebody wants to include me in an alliance and and in a way a message to the critics uh, of sajad loan that your meetings with the prime minister narendra modi will only continue of course you know any government which comes now will be rushing to him for for for, for aid for development i'll tell you again unless and until we don't have massive injections of funds from the center this place is not going to move question does not arise you need a very overt proactive center funding you for infrastructure development otherwise you know it's narega it's those uh, uh, retaining walls ration card that politics will continue you know we want the new politics to be more economics oriented the new mandate should be more um, uh, economics oriented that who did who who you know people don't even know what per capita is people don't even know what the uh, economic indicators are uh and the reason is that they've been kept away from and i believe that unless and until you don't have a very proactive very cooperative center there is no way you can build infrastructure thank you very much sajad congratulations for a fabulous victory that was the british turn politician sajad loan clearly saying that he does not rule out any kind of possibility but a lot of loud noise here a lot of supporters of sajad loan celebrating a victory procession really being carried forward but it's almost imminent now that the pdp and the bharatiya janata party will be really forming the next uh, jnk government and uh, it needs to be seen how that uh, direction will be taken forward